Hey guys, what's up? I'm EDC Gunner. Today I just want to give you a little update. Uh, I got a new watch. I'm going to read some of your comments, answer some of your questions. And I want to discuss the new watch. It's the new RS Aquas. It's the new caliber 400 movement. Uh, automatic 5-day power reserve. Has a silicon lever, escape wheel. Uh, so that means it's lobe free. Uh, it's anti-magnetic, uh, it's 4 hertz, uh, hex, hand winds, of course. Uh, and one good thing is uh, it has a 10-year warranty and service interval. That's a good, that's a big deal, 10-year service interval. So uh, it's a good deal, uh, it's a good value, looks great. It's uh, 3,500 uh, US dollars, so 3,000 euros, give or take you can convert it to yourself so it's a retail price and it's a good thing it came out yesterday or the day before and uh, it's available at boutiques you can check it out so the one question that comes out uh, of this of course it's a great watch if you are a fan of Oris has a new in-house movement uh, everything uh, all the specs it's in blue and steel it's a new Oris movement and they put it up in the Oris Aquas one of my favorite Oris's overall great bracelet great watch great look it's in blue looks fantastic but it steps up in uh tudor territory tudor black bay so the question i have for you is would you rather have this new rs aquas or a tudor black bay so do write me in the comment section and uh before all that i just have a little rant um about Rolex wearing wankers, uh, newbie Rolex owners. So on a Rolex forum on Facebook, that's over 100,000 members, uh, some guy posted a uh, Rolex King Midas a watch asking what reference is this? Uh, does anyone know something about this? And the first comment I saw there is a guy uh, puking, the puke emoji he plays there and it's a uh, just tells you that not all relics owners are the same uh, the guys who are chasing the latest and greatest uh, and uh, true relics enthusiasts so the second question uh, comments and everything was from uh, Eric Ku who who featured on Dinky Talking Watch is one of the biggest relics vintage relics experts and collectors out there and he says him it's a relics Midas is it for sale and uh, compare that to the guy previous with a puke emoji it's not a watch for everyone but definitely it's a really interesting and collectible relics and i no doubt i would love to have one in my collection so that makes me a true relics enthusiast eh? okay yeah so right now i'm gonna read some of your questions from the comments so you can ask me questions in the comments or you can send me at the email at ddcconnor at gmail.com and this one's interesting from zeraha zeraha hi dcg did we ever have opportunity to see your opinion review on omega speedmaster 57 uh is that the broad arrow I kind of overlooked this watch in my search in past years, but perhaps it was overshadowed by the moon watch, but it seems it has really good specs. Uh, I'm indeed worried about the case thickness. What do you think about the two hand single minute and hour register? It is cool uh, that the watch comes in 39.7 millimeter version. It's an auto winder and coaxial uh, 9,300 9, caliber column view chronograph uh and it's a long comment over here i believe this is omega broad arrow 1957 and uh, i can tell you uh, in my opinion in my opinion this is very cool omega i wouldn't mind having it it's really cool this is omega 1957 that came out of course this is a re-edition he's talking about uh omega came out it was a uh, omega Speedmaster before the moon watch and that's hence it got its Speedmaster and I absolutely love how it looks it's a gorgeous handsome watch I wouldn't mind having it and it's definitely very collectible and cool about the thickness well uh, the best thing uh, for you to 
go somewhere to a mega boutique and check it out and see would you like it i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind and that's it so let's see if there's any more questions also another question from zaraha hey hey buddy uh this video inspired me the last video to ask a question is it a problem for a chronograph movement to be paused at one point for several hours for example it stopped at 21 minutes and three hours later the measurement is resumed for another 13 minutes so he stopped it at 21 minutes and three hours later he resumes the measurement uh first of all i gotta tell you i'm not a watchmaker so uh, there are certainly some watchmakers and more knowledgeable knowledgeable guys um, from than me to answer these questions but i'm gonna use my common sense uh, it should not be a problem but also i think you should not do it all the time if it happens today you've done something you measured it you make a pause and you want to do it again uh, i don't see a issue doing it once in a while every time but also you can write down the time, reset the chronograph. That's how I would do it. I would write down the 21 minutes, reset it, and three hours later I would continue and just use some basic math to calculate it. So uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but I would not, I don't think you should do it all the time because you apply a break to a chronograph and uh, uh, I think my solution of writing down and continuing to later on, uh, I think it's more reasonable and more healthier for your watch movement, definitely. And the uh, people in the comment section are telling me that Timex from Hadinki is horrible. It's ugly. I, I think it's very ugly. And just the fact that it says Hadinki on it does not make it that cool. It is a little bit cool, you have to admit it, but it's not that cool. And definitely not cool for me to fork money for that crappy watch definitely and also blue marlin says hey dc gunner uh no where can i get spare parts for pilot watches can you recommend a reputable website oh uh, if i would need a spare part for pilot watches i would go to my watchmaker he has a lots of those parts and uh I would go on eBay and look for some donor watches and they are very cheap as well so you can buy some donor watches in poor condition with the dial or something else and uh, source the parts for the moment so that's what I would do and I also want to give a special shout out to Bada Big Boom who uh, recently discovered my videos and left a bunch of comments yeah I'm from Bosnia Thank you for subscribing and watching and thank you all new subscribers for subscribing and watching and uh, that's it with the comments and the rants and now it's time to reveal my new watch and if you've been following me on instagram edc gunner you might have noticed it but yeah this is uh, iwc aqua timer very cool watch i love it love the bracelet on it there will be a review definitely sometimes in the future but i'm very short with time my time's limited my youtube studio now is is the car so that's all i can say but yeah it's very very i will i will insert some photos but i want to show you the bracelet on this guy is really something else it's like a, a nautilus bracelet very fluid iwc makes some great bracelets and has a special system for removing links there are dots here in the middle and you just push it and you slide out those links very easy genius way if you ask me i'm very happy with this iwc uh, i went with my buddy we went on a road trip uh, i didn't film the road trip because i do not get uh, those some of you like those videos but i don't get enough use on them and it's a lot of work and also I had to make sure I stay healthy and wear I wore a mask all the time because of the situation uh, and uh, yeah maybe next time but we definitely went on a road trip he got a nice Rolex and I got a nice IWC so I'm very happy with this one uh, ever since I uh, got rid of my Tudor Pelagos I wanted to bring it back 
but um, I decided this is a better better option for me and uh, it's IWC and usually you will see a lot of Omega Seamasters to their Pelagos's black base and everything and uh, this is or bright wings but well, this is kind of exotic and it's even exotic online there's not a reviews and anything and i absolutely love it it's a eta based uh chronograph but the older circa 2006 iwc but i absolutely uh love it so thank you guys for watching do tell me what do you think about the new oris aquas and uh what do you think about my new iwc and uh Check me out on Instagram and give me a thumbs up.